Hey everybody, it's Darren Meyer from Darren's Premium Auto Detailing. Um, as most of you know, I went to a Jade Ceramic Coating Class certification at Detail King in Monroeville, Pennsylvania on Friday, March 26th. So I'm going to go over what products I have and tell you why uh, if you want to get your vehicle ceramic coated, you should consider getting it done by me. Um, if you're a person that's not interested in all the science and stuff behind it, then this video may not be as interesting to you as others. So without further ado, so if you're considering a ceramic coating, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is it? Well, I'm going to get pretty nerdy and science on you here, so bear with me. And yes, I did write some notes down so I could remember this. Um, so basically, the active ingredients in a jade ceramic coating are catalyzed by moisture in the atmosphere. So the moisture begins a polymerization reaction to form a crystal lattice framework made up of tetrahedral arrangements of silicon and oxygen. So this crystal structure it makes is very stable and does not participate in chemical reactions with salt, acids, or alkalis. So what exactly, that's a lot of words. So what is it basically? Okay, so let's break down the uh, paint structure on any vehicle, okay? So we're talking, you know, pointing at the paint, which is on this towel. You've got your bare metal, you've got your primer, you've got your color, and you got your clear coat. Normal clear coat on a vehicle is between nine, or excuse me, between like four and six H or hardness on the hardness scale. And we'll get to that in just a second. Ceramic coatings, the ones that uh, offer through Jade, are both rated at 9H hardness, and that spray behind me there is, or behind the coatings is rated as 7H. So, what happens when you, you put on a ceramic coating? Is it, like it said, it, it, it works with the atmosphere, moisture in the atmosphere, and it bonds to the paint. So, let me be real with you guys because I, like I like being real and transparent in my company as you should know by now. If I wax my vehicle, which I just did, I actually just did a blue diamond polish on it, shot a video on it. This is right after that. If I take isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, right? You can buy that anywhere. And I put it on something and rub it on the paint, all that protection's gone. I could take that sealant off just with a snap of the finger. And why is that? Well, because, you know, carnival waxes and, and even paint sealants are, are tough and they do provide some um, resistance to, you know, UV rays and a little bit of protection, but it's nothing like a ceramic coating. A ceramic coating quite literally forms a, as it said, a framework over. So think of all these tiny little crystals all joining together on your paint, making it actually a lot more hard by being, when I, when I say hard, I mean scratch resistant. It's a lot more scratch resistant. There is a lot more uh, hydrophobic effects of ceramic coating. The gloss level is greatly increased and the to maintain it is a cinch. So you know how we just had our snowstorm here a little bit ago in Nashville, if your car was ceramic coated, yeah, you wouldn't even know it because there would be no salt on it. Um, nothing sticks to it. If I ceramic coated my car and then sprayed paint on it, the paint would have a very hard time. Nothing can penetrate those, those, that framework gets so tight, nothing can penetrate in there. Acids will not penetrate. So this is something that can last up to five years. Now, a lot of people are like five years, it's not like when you get it done, you set a timer and when the five year mark goes off, oh, your ceramic coating's gone. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is if you maintain your vehicle and you take care of it like you're supposed to properly, either you maintain it yourself or you have a professional do it, your ceramic coating can last a lot longer. Um, one of the gentlemen that helps teach the class at Detail King, his name is Frank. Frank ceramic coated his own vehicle with just back when Jade was a three year and he did that eight years ago. And he said he's never touched it since and his, his Jeep still looks great. It's because he knows how to maintain it and he does. So why Jade? Why would you pick Jade? Well, Jade coatings have been tested by third party labs to verify their hardness and chemical resistance. They've also been approved to be applied to Boeing aircrafts. Now, if you guys know anything about um, any kind of certifications, anything on an aircraft is 
really difficult to get approved for because obviously an aircraft, uh, well, it's obviously made of very expensive and very delicate materials. So if something were to go wrong, obviously you're looking at catastrophe because you're, you know, 25, 30,000 feet up in the air. Jade has been certified to be used on Boeing aircrafts. There's not many other ceramic coatings out there that can say that. Why else would you use Jade? Well, let's say you bring your car to me and you get the uh, Quartz Pro ceramic coating in the green bottle. I will take and say, you know, say you, it's five years. So say three years down the road, three and a half years down the road, you go to sell your vehicle. You want to trade it in. I will register your car with Carfax. So it will be on your Carfax when you go to trade your car in. There is no other company out there. None. Not a single other ceramic coating company that, that does this as of right now. Detail King is partnered with Jade. They're the only ones where I can give them your Carfax and information about your vehicle. So when you go to trade it, it's going to increase your resale value. However, I mean, if you have trained people looking at it at the dealership, if you don't maintain it, it's really not worth it. Um, so let's talk about the hardness test really quick. Basically, the hardness test, they designed these pencils to scrape across paint, and it ranged from 9B, which is very the softest, uh, all the way to 9H, which is the hardest. And polyurethane and polycarbonate typically fall in the B ranges to 4H. And as I said earlier, most of your clear coats are polyurethane, folks, and uh, 4H on the hardness scale. These are 9H, 7H. So it is harder than your clear coat. It's more scratch resistant than your clear coat. So what? let's talk about our contact angles and what I mean by is when water contacts your vehicle. If I wax, if I were to pour water on my vehicle right now, I'm sure it's going to run off, but it's going to run off at about a 70 degree angle at the most because a little microscopic amounts of that water still get into the paint or, or sit on the paint longer. It happens. It's, with jade or ceramic coatings that's professionally installed, you can expect 100 to 105 degrees. So the hydrophobic effects are unmatched. Of any wax, any sealant, there's nothing else out there that comes close, okay? So, another key concept is the gloss. The gloss will actually continue to uh, enhance after your vehicle has cured. So after your vehicle's ceramic coated, it'll usually sit for up to 24 hours just to make sure everything's bonded correctly and there's no high spots on your vehicle or anything like that. And after that, um, the gloss actually, as, as, it as it finally finishes its curing, uh, the gloss is even increased. And the gloss is unmatched to any wax, any sealant. Doesn't matter if I were to compound this, polish it, use a, use a, a, a sealant on it, then a wax, then a spray wax, it doesn't matter. The gloss level um, is unmatched. There's nothing else that even comes close. So. Let's talk about what exactly I would do in a ceramic coating for your vehicle. Honestly, my biggest um, challenge is not applying this, okay? It's not this. This is an easy part. And it's not easy, I should not say easy. That is a part that is more simplified than um, getting your vehicle ready for that. Because here's the thing. Say I paint, did some paint correction on your vehicle and I put a wax on there and I'm going around doing my final inspection. I'm like, oh crap, I missed a scratch or, or there's, there's, there's some oxidation I missed or something like that. So I'm like, oh crap. Well, I can easily go right over that wax even and just compound polish, whatever I need to do to remove the defect or, or reduce the defect or whatever. 10 seconds after that touches the paint, it's cured. It's, it's adhered to the paint. Now when I say cured, I mean the fact that it's, it, it will not be removed by anything other than a chemical abrasion, not a chemical abrasion, excuse me, an abrasive. So I would have to use compound, wet sanding even. So if I miss a scratch or, or, or a oxidation or something on your vehicle, that's not just gonna come off, okay? So it's gonna take, it's gonna take uh, abrasives to get it off. 
So that's the difference. Again, this is not a wax where it's on for so long and then it's off. This is a actual bonding chemically to your paint. So if you mess it up, you're, the only way you're going to be able to correct your mess up is if you use an abrasive. So preparing the vehicle, obviously, what I plan on offering, and I don't have my pricing together just yet, but I'm going to be coming out with all of that here soon, and I'm going to have specials. Um, obviously, I'm going to do everything I did in my other video, and if you haven't watched it yet, I highly suggest you go and check it out. At a minimum, even if your car is brand new right off the showroom floor, that's the thing a lot of folks think, oh, the car is brand new, it's great. Folks, this is a 2019 and I bought it brand new. When I went to go buy it, I told them, do not wash my car. Do not touch it. I don't want anybody touching my car. I'm a detailer. I will do it myself. Of course, they don't listen. So whenever I got there, I already had swirl marks in my paint. Okay? So the fact of the matter is, and I'm not saying all dealerships are like that. And I'm not saying car detailers that work at dealerships or whatever don't know what they're doing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you have to... You, you have to know how to properly prepare the vehicle to get it ready to be ceramic coated. So there's a lot of steps. So at a bare minimum, I'm going to do a one-step correction. And that would most likely actually be with Detail King's um, silica polish or their pure finish uh, polish, which has no, it, it's, not like a, it's not like a blue diamond, which has, um, it's not like blue diamond, which has a sealant in it. It has nothing in it, so then I would refresh your paint surface with refresh and any if you if you've ever seen online where guys like just use rubbing alcohol, yeah, go ahead. Try to use rubbing alcohol on your paint to remove all the oils and stuff before you ceramic coat. If you know anything about rubbing alcohol, you know it evaporates very quickly. So try try rubbing just a bare towel across your paint and see uh, how that works. No, use something that is designed for ceramic coatings. Detail kings. Re refresh surface prep is what I will use twice on every surface of your vehicle to get it ready. And all that does is take away all the oils, any residual oils from any compounding and polishing. And yes, there's oils left over. I don't care what anybody says, they're there. Or even any old waxes that might still be there. Takes all that stuff off, okay? Then it's time to apply the ceramic coating, which you do in about two foot by two foot sections. Um, and the whole total application of the vehicle probably will range anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half and then it needs to cure i will keep your vehicle overnight so you need to be aware of that um, but let's quickly run down what i have here this jade ice pro is rated at 9h this is actually this is their it, although it's rated at 9h it's it's longevity is rated at three years this is the Jade Quartz Pro. Its longevity is rated at five years. This is Jade Edge. Jade Edge is a ceramic coating for your exterior automotive trim. So all your plastics, stuff like that, can all be ceramic coated uh, with Jade Edge. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper than if I can use the, the, either one of these on any surface of your vehicle other than your front windshield, as I said, or your windshield wipers. So. These two products uh, can coat all your exterior trim. It's not going to hurt it. This simply here, you wipe, you put it on, you don't have to wipe it off. Now, this is rated at about one year, so this is going to be a cheaper option for those who, if you just want your paint ceramic coated or you want your trim or you want both of them with this. Now, this stuff back here is really cool. This is ceramic detail spray. Now, Jay used to have another product line, and I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it was a one-year. So this is for folks that don't want to spend the money on a ceramic coating because it is expensive. Um, this, is a, this, is not your, this is not Top Coat F11 or any of those other products. This has silica dioxide in it, just like um, these ceramic coatings. It's not as much as these. That's why it's rated at 7H. I can also ceramic coat your entire vehicle barring the wind, wind, front windshield and um, windshield wipers with this. And this is going to last you up, up to the longevity period of a year. Again, folks, it's all on how you take care of it. I have, I'll have maintenance plans set up to see your vehicle. I won't need to see your vehicle as often. It is important that you're going to have to wash it every month at least. 
but you're going to have to do it properly. That's the thing. I am not, I am not going to take my time to ceramic coat your vehicle and you to spend upwards of could be $1,500 on a ceramic coating if you're not going to take care of it because I don't want my name on something that isn't going to be almost perfect because nobody's perfect, right? So if you're the type of person that washes your car with Dawn dish soap or you take it through the car wash, and yes, I'm guilty of it. I've taken my own car through the car wash. But if you're that kind of person that wants to get a ceramic coating and you don't want to be in for the longer haul to maintain the life and longevity of your ceramic coating, then I would not suggest you spend the money. Um, so, and the fabric guard, just the left, the A65 Jade Fabric Guard is kind of like any kind of spill defender, but on steroids. It can go on interior carpet and interior cloth seats only, no leather. And right now there's no other interior ceramic coating. Jade's working on a interior for all your plastic and components in your vehicle on the interior. So again, these are just some of the products. Now I'm going to be offering, I'm gonna be offering this one year right here with a one-step paint correction and you know, everything else, a complete detail. I'm talking, you know, you can clay bar, iron removal, iron decontamination, uh, at least a one-step polish. So using not blue diamond, something like pure finish on your vehicle. If it needs compound in some areas, obviously there may be a little bit of additional cost, but this is gonna be a good entry level so you can see what it's capable of. So again, I hope I maybe answered some of your questions and explained a little bit about what exactly ceramic coating is.